Hey, what's up, everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're taking the Reef Conservation Society show at Williamsport, PA. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are the morning of the show, and here are the corals that I had packed up out of the tank. We're heading toward, to the uh, Williamsport High School in Williamsport, PA, for a frag swap. Uh, all the corals were packed up and laid in the jars the night before and left in the tank. And then they were packaged in these jars, put into the styrofoam cooler, and this is the way they were transported. Here is the high school itself. It was a very big high school with a sprawling campus and... Uh, as you can see, the millionaires is their mascot. Now, here's two people you may recognize. That was quickly my son, Scott, and also uh, Reef with Billy Pipes, who joined me for the show. Uh, here's our table. Uh, we got in, grabbed two tables due to the amount of stuff that we had. And this is just prior to us setting up. And coming up, you'll see how the table looked after we were set up. Large selection of stuff. Uh, Billy had brought, including the corals that we both had from each other's tanks, and now we're ready to get on with the show. Looking to the other side, this is uh, Kingpin Corals section. He had a large selection of corals, and even though this was a, a relatively small frag swap, all the vendors did bring out a lot of their uh, frags and were ready to sell. Here's another table. And as you can see, a lot of frags and a lot of candy was in their tank. This is Covey's Coral section. And what I found out most interesting about Covey's table, and you'll see that coming up in a few seconds, is this big, huge clam that's in this tank. And when it did this, <laughs> it made me laugh. So, um, also, the amount of these meaty, um, you know, these open brains and meaty corals that he had in the tank and this little baby uh, clam was awesome as well. Now, coming up, you're also going to see some uh, three of the most colorful fungia plates that I've seen in, in quite some time. So, that's Covey's table, and now we'll move right along. There were tanks of every size, including uh, this this medium-sized one and this even this nano frag tank, all laid out, ready to sell. There was equipment on sale, and as you can see, a lot of color coming out of these frag tanks for the show. Now, right here is a interesting uh, part of the show. This gentleman comes out and he has art. This is all hand drawn and painted by him, and it's art of all different shapes, sizes, and prices, including these sets with many different fish. You can see he's actually painting one as I'm at the table, and uh, it was just amazing to see that. And also frag tanks of every size, including this large one and this invert tank on the end, and a whole section of equipment. Here is the snack table that was laid out, as well as the sweepstakes table, uh, which you already know if you've watched Reefing with Billy Pipes video, uh, held a little surprise for me at the end. So we'll get to that later. Now here are the tanks that are actually contained in this high school. They are quite large. This is a 500 gallon tank that was custom built. You can see the front glass is actually reinforced glass to take an impact in case somebody pumps into it. But the size of the fish and also the corals in the tank was amazing. This angel was spectacular. I had a fun. Also, the, another interesting fact, this is a custom-made uh, device. You actually can put a quarter in this machine and it'll actually feed the tank. If it doesn't, that means the tank's been fed enough for that day. But we've seen it in action just as well. This tank contained the largest Hollywood stunner that I've seen since I've been in the hobby. 
So it just showed me just exactly what those two little frags on my overflow can look like. Although, I don't think I can have a tank that will hold that. Both tanks contain tangs, all different kinds of fish, including powder blues that are my favorite. Now we're behind the scenes. That's Larry, the gentleman with the beard. He's actually the teacher and the professor. And, uh, of course, Billy Pipes is going on for the tour. All these tanks contain frags uh, from their main tanks. This one tank is pretty much the main frag tank containing a very huge clam, as you can see there. And just tons of beautiful color corals that they actually sell. And you'll see that later in the video as well. Uh, at a very low price while the frag swap's going on to help support the program and, and the uh, different shows. This is a custom-made calcium reactor that was built for them. And here's the other side of that frag tank, including a back shot of that 550-gallon tank with they had these huge leather corals, and the fish are just really big and really healthy and fat. I couldn't help but take a picture of the Vortec. They all have labels on them to tell you exactly what the dimensions, when it was installed, you know, who did it, and uh, how large the tank is. Now, coming up is also... This skimmer is over six feet tall. It's standing next to me. It's actually taller than me. It was another. It's another custom-made skimmer. Here's their whole bank of power heads and power management, including this device that was built by a student, and it actually reads the amount of amps and current going through this system. Here's the controller for the feeding machine that was also custom-made by one of their students alongside their apex and here are the upper tanks all running on Chinese LEDs and moving down to these tanks the interesting part of this was they had sections of tanks with with different corals this one's mostly softies and this cute little uni unicorn tank with that face and then moving up is a whole section of clownfish breeding tanks they actually sell these clowns uh, the babies for five dollars each and then next to them, you get to see the parents of the babies that were in that tank. And here they are. So these are their breeding pairs that they have separate from the babies. And as you can tell, it's a pretty large fish room because as you'll see coming up, there's a whole nother section behind it. And yes, I did ask and saw, those, saw that sign afterwards. They are not for sale. There's another whole section of uh, soft corals. Here is an extension and more of the fish room. These are more holding tanks for different age fry, uh, clown fish fry. That These were also available for purchase as well. Now the tank coming up, which kind of jumped out at me, has two of the biggest leathers I've ever seen as well. And the tank itself is under three metal halides, which I found pretty cool because I, this is the first time I've actually seen them up close. Is there water holding tanks? So then moving back into the classroom, I did notice uh, the general layout and also that there were two tanks in the back that I had to go check out. This tank became the frag tank for the show. The frags were selling at about $10 a piece, and it was stuffed when uh, I went to check it out later on. Now, of course, I see the reef tank first, so I'm going to go check out the reef tank. And yes, there's a fox face in this tank, which made me feel like I need to get a fox face back in my tank. But also this freshwater... Um, tank that was filled with brook trout from Pennsylvania that were raised in the school as you can see the sign telling you the show itself had, had a surprise and that was uh, Sanjay uh, Joshi came and he actually took time to talk to us and 
I had a, a nice conversation with him, and that was special. Now, here's the the surprise of the day. Scotty put uh, some coupons into the raffle, and I won the MP10. Uh, I'll do an unboxing and review of that. And for Scotty's surprise were these four baby clownfish that I picked up and put in the tank in his room, which is slowly uh, going towards a reef tank. Um, in the back is a graveyard of some skeletons so uh that's pretty much what the show i enjoyed it a whole lot i look forward to meeting you know everybody at future shows um if you can like comment share and subscribe the video and as always this is scott and i'll see you by the reef tank. thank you for watching this episode of roscoe's reef with scott as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe